Again, today we're going to uh, be making a PowerPoint presentation on the ocean, so we're going to go and get some graphics. So the first thing I want you to do is go to the internet and let's go find some graphics. So next week we'll talk more about copyright. Uh, today we're just going to steal images, but one of the things I'd like you to include in your final presentation is, of course, where you got the images and try and find copyright free images if you can and I'll show you places where you can find images that you can use in presentation. One of the things about presentation design of course is that you're presenting to an audience, right? It's not a one single person and depending upon where that presentation is being held may depend upon the type of copyright you have, right? I can't make a presentation, go over to Campus Center and present it at Campus Center and use copyright material, I'd be violating the law. Okay, because that's a public area, right? I can't just, you know, start blaring music anywhere I want to go anywhere, you know, Rolling Stones, woo, you know. I, I remember the day there was a guy, Randy Spreadlove was his name. He uh, uh, was the president of Universal, or no, Paramount Pictures, Paramount. I think it's Paramount, yeah. The Hollywood studio, he made all, he was in charge of all the music that gets into the films, right? In fact, he won an Oscar for uh, uh, Chicago, I believe. But beside the point, he was saying, "Oh yeah, I get all these all these directors in my office. You know, they come in, they did all oh, that Rolling Stones song at the very end of the movie. They're driving off in the sunset, and you know, you know that Rolling Stones song's playing in the background. And I have to tell them that Rolling Stones song to be put into your movie is going to cost four hundred thousand dollars, right? Because it's copyright, right? You know, Rolling Stones, uh, their music's not cheap." And so, you know, you got you kinda you gotta pay for material. So we'll learn about that a little bit more next week. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to the internet and let's learn how to search for images. So we want a map of the Pacific Ocean. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna type in Pacific Pacific. I spell Pacific P A C I F I C Pacific Ocean. Oh, and we want map. So let's go find a map. Okay, so I want an image. I'm not doing maps, maps. I'm doing images. So if you look here, when you're searching on, uh, I'm using Firefox, you'll notice you have images right here. If you click on images and go to uh, tools right here, see tools right here? Okay, images, tools. You can then go and find things maybe a little higher quality because you don't want to put fuzzy, ugly graphics in your presentation, do you? No, we want to try and find something quality. So if you look here, under tools, you'll notice there's there's a pull-down menu right here. It says any size, large, medium, icon, larger than, and then you have certain sizes here. So first of all, let's talk about size in general. And these, of course, are measured in pixels. So whenever you do a presentation, you're mostly going to be presenting on a projector right, or on a computer. So what are some common sizes? Of course, HD is a common size. What's the, what's the size of HD? Dimensions and height. You all have all gone by a monitor before and heard HD TV. Mm -hmm. And you talk. Close. Whenever you're at the store and it says 1080i or 1080p, what is that referring to? A height in pixels. Okay, so normal HD is going to be 19. Whoosh. 1920 by 1080. That's a pixel. So if you look here, you know, if I downloaded this image right here, if I said 2 megapixel 16 by 12, that's going to be nice and big, and that's going to be a useful image, right? You don't want something small that's going to look something like this. The other thing to keep in mind, I would make my presentation at least this, if not larger. You can also do what, 4K? What was the 4K? 
old TVs, old monitor, old TV or old monitors would be in the four to three ratio. Four to three. Right? So it wasn't quite wasn't quite square, but it was like that. Remember the old TVs? And then remember the days before HD? I used to have a TV that was so bad it it, it, it was black and white and it, sometimes it was color, sometimes black and white. You had to hit the floor to like this and shake it and then it, the color would come on. Like, oh, color go, go, go. Okay, so there's still presentations in this square format, four to three ratio. But most of them today is the new stuff is in what we call 16 to 9, 16 to 9. Okay, that's the ratio of this 16 to 9. Right? Most things that are sometimes called widescreen, right? So when you're picking images, make sure you find images that are going to be large enough. It's okay to shrink them down, it's not okay to make them scale them up, right? Because then they look ugly and pixelated. So usually I kind of start with like this as the minimum. Here's, you know, that's, that's okay. You know what I mean? But try and get sizes there. Tools? Tools? Go. Google Images, right? I'm on Google. I typed in Pacific Ocean Map, right? I go to Images, Tools, and then over here is a pull down menu. Or size. Size. See that? And then choose large or larger than. Or exactly, you can find something that fits the exact size you need, right? So, again, I'm going to choose Pacific Ocean, so let's choose one. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I'm going to just steal this one. To steal it, I'm going to put it on my computer. When you find a graphic like this, click on it. You right-click on it, and since I'm using Firefox, I can say Save Image As right there. See where it says Save Image As? And I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, so we're going to talk about water, so let's get a nice ocean scene. I'm going to go and uh, type in, uh, how about we type in ocean waves. So I want, I want a kind of a wavy image. Let's find some waves. So I'm going to get a wavy image. That looks good. Now again... I'm not worried about copyright today. I'm stealing. But next class or next time we do a presentation, we're going to talk in detail about making sure. Today we're just stealing. Stealing today. So I'm going to save that. Again, right-click on there. And then we're going to talk about animals. We're going to make an a infographic of the animals of the Pacific Ocean. So how about we type in um, sea lion? How about sea lion? Oh, they're awful cute. There we go. Let's steal it. Well, that's not a very good quality one, is it? Oh, this one's awful cute. Look at that one. Save image as. So sea lion. So get a sea lion and get another animal. What's another uh, animal? How about a uh, seagull? Seagull. Go. 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 And let's do one more animal. What's another ocean animal? Or a shark? Or, or how about sea fish? Sea what? What am I trying to say? Sea crab? How about sea crab? Crab? You're going to make me hungry. Oh my, look at that. Mm, he looks tasty. Oh, tasty. Okay, so we got this little one here. Let's save this. And then the last thing is, uh, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find a graphic that would be like a logo or something that I would have on each of my slides. So I'm going to go and find a graphic. So uh, to find a graphic or a clip art, you sometimes we refer to that as clip art, right? Or like a graphic, like a drawing, right? Not just a photo. To find that, I'm going to type in, uh, how about we type in dolphin, 
Or what do you want? A whale? How about a whale? How about whale? And then instead of clicking on images here, we can go to where it says more. Oh, no, not more. Where are we doing? No images. Where, where do we get graphics? Hmm? Oh, type. Thank you. Clip art. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. See underneath type there, we have clip art. And here we go. We got one of these. This will make a nice uh, graphic for our, our, our screen. Um, oh, I like this killer whale there. I like th this guy looks like the tuna guy, doesn't he? Whenever you're finding a graphic and looking at graphics, remember there's different types of graphics uh, formats. I think we've talked about them already. Remember the uh, PNG and JPEG and GIF? We, we talked about that before, haven't we? So, oh, it's the, uh, uh, again, type in whale or something. Go to images, clip art right here. See where it says, it's right there. It's a pull down menu. Type, yes, type. And I went to clip art. And then I chose this one and I was talking about this one because, yeah. Notice how when I see it inside of, uh, of, of here, you'll notice there's a checkerboard pattern. You can't really see it here on this projector. But if you look on your screen, you might see. When you see that checkerboard pattern, it means it's transparent. I can put this over top of a background, and the background color will come through. Okay? Do you see that? I don't know if you can see it there. But if you go to the one there, and you look closely at the one I clicked on, if you don't, if you find one, it's just going to be square. And this this will be white on your, on your presentation. So um, I'm just pointing that out. If you find one that has a kind of a checkerboard pattern, it's a PNG where it has a transparent area. So I'm going to save that. And that's a whale. Give it a name. And we'll start. Okay, so everybody have that? We're going to start in PowerPoint. So you got yourself some graphics? Not yet. Hurry up. Download some graphics. We'll move on. Something, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone you want. You don't have to do, don't do mine, do your own. Just get whatever you think is cool, what you like. Remember, it's your world. Remember, we follow Bob Ross' philosophy. Who's Bob Ross? That's the greatest man ever, no doubt. He's a painter, right? He says two things at the end of every. It's your world, you paint it as you see it. Mm -hmm. and so this is your presentation, you made it, you don't follow mine. You make it your presentation. Then he says, God bless me, just like this is the same. Telling you, every show, there's two things you can do. Okay? He's a great person. He passed away a couple years ago. Okay, we can watch a Bob Ross uh, 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 anime during the uh, break. I'm going to take a little break. Okay, let's get into PowerPoint. So I'm going to quit the internet for right now. Oh, actually, you can leave the internet running if you want because we're going to come and steal some text and things like that later. It's up to you. If you want to minimize, again, minimize means we're just going to hide the program, but it's still going to be running. How do we minimize? Well, on the Mac, if you look over here where it says Firefox up here, you'll notice there's one that says Hide Firefox right there. Do you see that? It's probably the fourth one down. If you say hi Firefox, it doesn't mean you quit it. It just means it's running in the background. PowerPoint should be in your dock at the bottom and it has a big P. This is Microsoft PowerPoint. What's that? Right click. 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 Right click.
for your logo, right? You want to grab? You want something graphic-y? Not a real picture. In other words, okay. Let's talk about size again. Remember, I was talking four to three and sixteen to nine. If you look at the different dimensions here, you'll see most of them are kind of in this. Look at how it's longer than it is high, right? But if you look around, you will find some older ones. If we go, um, if we go, you can actually um, search for a template here. There's business ones and stuff. If you type in business, you'll see there's some business templates. I don't see any four to three right now. I don't know. Usually they're kind of, you can tell the difference. Don't know. Just pointing out. I'm just going to do a blank one right here. See where it says blank presentation right here? See this top one right here? So let's do the blank one right there, and we're going to start with a blank presentation. Now the first thing we're going to do is make our own template. Because... Right now, it's just black text on a white background. Boring, right? And so whenever you want to make it, uh, uh, you want to customize your slide, you do that using the master. To find the master, we go underneath the, uh, uh, we need to bring up the, uh, why, oh, here it is. What am I doing here? Uh, we want to go under view. So I'm going to click first where it says view right here. See view right here in the middle? view right inside view you'll notice there one that says master slide master kind of right here uh-huh and click on master for a moment Okay, you know, get the master. Okay, so now here's a problem. I don't know why they do this or whatever, but the problem is, is that for some reason it has the first title slide highlighted, but it's not the true master. The true master is this one up here at the top. So I don't know why they always start with this. So what I want you to do is click on this top one right here. That is the, like, every slide is going to look like this. So I'm going to click on the one on the top right here. Then I'm going to customize the page. Let's first look at what it gives us. First thing it's going to give us is it gives us kind of a title for our slide right here, right? Then it gives us what the bullets will look like. Then there's a background, which is plain white. It also gives us a date. It gives us a footer, and it gives us a slide number. But we kind of need to add these to this. It doesn't do it automatically. It looks like it's there automatically, but it's not. So we actually have to tell it to put that stuff in there for us. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is change the background color, because the background is plain ugly white. To change the background color, you notice at the very top it says background styles. Do you see that at the top up there, background styles? So let's go and choose background styles. Since we're doing ocean, I might choose a blue. Whoosh, that's pretty ugly. Uh, let's see, background, format, format background. If you click on format background, which is the one at the very bottom there, see again, format background, it gives you this option here where you can do gradients and stuff. Uh, down here is a gradient option, so maybe you want to change the color here. There's little color options here. Ooh, that looks a little better maybe. Maybe if we get some color. So see if you can figure out how to change the color here. Whoosh. Look at that. I'm going to give it a little thing like that. Let's do that. How about we make this yellow so it looks like a sunset? Whoosh. No. There we go. Sunset. Okay. So here, I'll come and help you. Thank you. 
Okay, let's put our logo in here. So remember we have a little fish logo or something. I'm going to put it in the upper corner because I want it to be on every slide. So that you put a graphic in this, this, this master, it'll be on every slide. So to insert my graphic in here, I'm going to go under insert. Yep, insert right here. And I'm going to go to picture. Do you see where it says picture? Insert picture right here. And I'm going to say picture from file. Insert picture from file. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to find my um, whale. There he is. He's cute. And I'm going to put him in. Now, if he's too big, you can shrink it down. There he is. I'm going to shrink him down. Again, you put your cursor along the edge and you can shrink it down. Again, Insert and shrink it down in the corner here. See them? It's awful cute. So insert your layout. Did you put it on the desktop? Okay, next I'm going to adjust my title, because right now my title is this ugly font. It looks pretty plain and boring. Wouldn't it be nice to have a nice font up here? So you can click on the, the text up here at the top and maybe give it a color if you want. Oh, no, I don't want that. I want a color for my text here. How do I get my fonts? Fonts, 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 uh, text options under home. Home. Oh, here's the font. Let's do a, a we got it. We need an ocean font. Give me an ocean font. Whoosh, that's pretty ugly. Let's get an ocean font. Something that's readable, but not too boring. How about the felt marker? There we go. And then here's a color for your font. There we go. How about that? It's got a yellowish marker. I don't know. Keep the font. Okay, last thing we do for our master before we start is to put the footer at the bottom down here. So uh, for your presentation, you need to have the copyright symbol and your name at the bottom of every slide and slide number. So they're already here, you just need to set them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the middle footer right there. And I'm going to put the copyright symbol in there, and then uh, we will put in 
our name. So see where it says footer down here at the bottom? Okay, so I'm going to click right here where it says footer, and I'm going to put in the copyright symbol is option G. Option G. And then put your name on there. And I know you can see, let me zoom in, zoom in so you can see it. There you go. Okay, again, click where it says footer down there at the very bottom. Option G is in goat. G is in brick. Copyright symbol. Copyright. Put your name. Okay, so you got your name. Copyright symbol. Name. Okay. Option G. G is in goat. Great. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. I don't know if we need to to change this at all I think it automatically puts that in there once you put in the footer right here once I put in once I put in my text here it automatically puts you know hey this is gonna be in there and it's gonna automatically put the slide number in so you don't have to mess with it again I think as long as you put the footer in there with the copyright symbol it'll put the other ones in there automatically for you um, and it looks great now you don't have to have it at the bottom a lot of people when they make their final presentation choose a template that can run such a Number at the top or on the side. It's okay. It doesn't have to be along the bottom. I'm just going to appear just to be here. You know? Okay, we're all done with the master. This is kind of my, my set template. Now I'm just going to adjust each slide around this, okay? So if you want to change that, uh, it, it does it automatically for you. Oh. You don't even have to put one, two, three in there. It's going to do it automatically. So to, to get out of the Master, you go back to view, and there should be a close master. No, where's the close master? Um, there should be a way to. Usually, it says you're done with the master. You can add anything. Yes, anytime you just click on the master, you can add it later. Okay, somehow there usually is a close master. I don't know why. Which one? Oh, here it is. Slide master right here. See it? Thank you. Slide master right here at the very top left. And then there's one that says close master right here. See it? Close master. Boom. I'm back. Okay. So I got one slide already. See it right here? Slide. One slide right there. It has no title. So what is our title? We're going to be doing the Pacific... Ocean, and then we're going to put our name down here by Jeff Mascot. Okay, so give yourself a title slide. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see. There's my first slide. Beautiful. Look at that. I got my little whale in the corner. Got my nice background. I got my title slide. Okay, next, we're going to make a new slide. Then we want to make a slide that has a picture on it. Okay, so to make a new slide, you'll notice in the upper corner here under home, there's one that says new slide right there with a little green plus. Do you see it? Get under home, new slide. If I put my cursor down in the arrow that points down, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of slide options. You got title slide, title slide and content, Selection header, two two header, two content, comparison, title only, blank slide, content with caption, picture with caption. I'm just gonna use the first the second one here. We already made a title. I'm gonna do this one title and content right there. Okay, so I clicked on the one that said title and content. Uh, and I'm gonna type in the ocean. And then to put a picture in there, we've downloaded a picture with some waves in it, right? Do you remember the one with the waves in it? So you notice in the option here, you'll see you have a whole bunch of little icons here. These icons represent the things that you can put on your slide. First one's a table, a graph, 
uh, infographic picture, I don't know what that is, in a video. So I'm going to click on this one with a little tree, or it's not a tree, I guess it's a mountain with a little sun on it. Do you see that one? If you click on there, it's going to ask you for a picture. I'm going to click on that. It asks me for a picture, and I'm going to choose my uh, wave one, and I'm going to put that in. There we go. Notice how it kind of scaled the image down to fit within the box. I don't know, I downloaded this picture. And I put it on the desktop. Remember we went and got some images? You can stretch it and scale it, but the problem is if you scale it, it's going to distort a little bit. There we go. It's kind of cool, though. Hmm? Okay, everybody's got a picture, so my second slide is just an image with a picture. Very nice. Okay, let's move on. Next one we're going to do, how about we do a, a bulleted slide and we learn how to do animated text. Okay, so one of your slides in your final presentation has to have animated text. Okay, so let's do one with some bullets. Bullets. To make a new slide again is over here where it says new slide right here. Do the slide right here. If I click on that, we're going to go to again title and content. Title and content. And this is going to be uh, Pacific Ocean. Uh, this will be stats. I'm going to call it ocean stats. Stats? States? Stats. Stats. So uh, we need to, you know, what is the st stats of the ocean here? You know, how big is it? How many gallons of water? You know, that stats, you know, how large it is, whatever that would be a stat. So we have to go find some info. That's why I said let's not close the Internet yet. I'm going to go to Wikipedia and look up Pacific Ocean so I can get some stats. So, again, I'm going to go to – I still have Firefox open. I'm going to go to wikipedia.org, and I'm going to type in Pacific Ocean. And let's get some stats. How about uh, how about 63 million square miles? How about this one? I'm going to copy this one. 63 million square miles. So I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. And you'll notice it says add text. Do you see that right there? So I'm going to just click down there. And I'm going to add my text by copying and pasting. Or you just type it in. Then I'm going to hit return after that, and let's find another stat. I'll go back to my Wikipedia. Covers about 64% of Earth's water surface. That looks like a good stat right there. 64% of Earth's water surface. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put that in. And let's put a couple more stats in. It was named after what? Named by the Portuguese explorer Magellan. Means peaceful sea. How about with that? Uh, Pacific means peaceful sea. That sounds good. Really? Is it that peaceful? Uh, one more. Let's do one more. I need one more stat. One more stat. Uh, let's see.
how much water total water water volume is seven one one million seven hundred uh, 170 million cubic miles of water. What does that mean? Let's see. Oh, the how about the average depth is 4,280 meters. How about that? Okay, let's add that stat and then we can take a break. So get to that point, I'm going to leave that here, I'll zoom in so you can read mine and type that in. Okay, so take a minute and get that going, and I'm going to pause my video here for a video talk here. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see. So to animate the bullets, you'll notice there is a animation option right here. It says animation. Just make sure your cursor is flashing in the box. It doesn't have to be at the first one, it just needs to be in the box. See how my, my cursor is still flashing in there, right? My cursor is still flashing in there. Go to animation, and these are your 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 ways you animate your stuff. You can have, you know, the most common is the fly in probably, where it comes flying in from a corner or something like that. So if you you know if I hit fly in, you'll see it comes in like that, right? Notice how it has numbers next to it. Those numbers represent, um, you know, how it comes in. Now, if you don't like them coming in from the bottom, you'll notice there is an effect over here. And over here, you'll notice there is a blue arrow that's pointing up. The reason why the blue arrow is pointing up is because it's going up from the bottom. But maybe you don't want it coming from the bottom and you want it to come from the side. If you click the arrow that goes down, you'll notice there's different ways you can have your text fly in. From the left might be a good way to fly in. So I might choose from the left and it'll show you. Well, there you go. They come in from the left. Or which one? I chose fly in. Animation, fly in. Animations, fly in. And then I change direction. Mm We'll do all kinds of things. We'll have some clicks. But for today, we're just going to make a very simple one like that. Fly in. Anybody got some flying in? Let's see if you can get it to fly in. Okay, so let's move on. This is a simple bulleted one. If you want to see how your presentation is so far, we could go and play our presentation by going underneath slideshow, play from start. See the pull down menu at the top? It's a pull down menu at the top. It says slideshow. And then the first option is play from start. So let's see what our presentation looks like now. There's our title slide. Looks pretty good. I'm going to hit the arrow on the keyboard. Arrow on the keyboard goes to the second slide. The Pacific Ocean is big, vast, and beautiful. Right? I'm going to hit the arrow key on the keyboard. Goes to there. Now, of course, I don't see no bullets. Why? Because the bullets come in. They animate in. So each time I hit the arrow, boom. 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 When you're done... With your presentation, you want to go back to editing, you hit escape on the keyboard, and it goes back. So try your presentation. Make sure it works. To play your presentation, it's right here, slideshow play from start. See, play from start, first one. Slideshow play from start. And then arrow keys on the keyboard. Look at the arrow keys on the keyboard. Or you can click the mouse.
Okay, let's make a new slide. Okay, ready to make a new slide? Ready? Okay, so to make a new slide, I'm going to go under Home again. New slide right here. And let's choose again Title and Content. Title and Content. And this time we're going to make a uh, table. Okay, so the table will be about the animals that we discussed. Remember the animals that we had? I think I have three different animals. So I'm going to make uh, a, a slide that says an, uh, an, I, Animals of Pacific Ocean. So I don't know, Pacific, P-A-S, C-I, Pacific? Uh, how do you spell Pacific? Isn't it Pacific like that? Oh, yeah, that's right, Pacific Ocean. Okay. Uh, to make a table, you'll notice there is inside of your template here that we chose. The first option says insert table. So I'm going to click on that, and it's asking me how many rows. So I have three animals, so I need three rows. Actually, I'm going to do four rows because I'll have a header. And then how many columns? I'm going to do three columns. So I'm going to do number of columns, three, number of rows, four. And I'm going to hit insert, and it gives me a table. So. Uh, First one, I'm going to say uh, animal, and the second one is going to be uh, how many, where population would be better than that, right? How about that? Population, and then um, let's say image. We'll put the picture in there. So uh, the first one I did was, what, a sea lion, right? I think I have a sea lion. Ooh, sea, Sean lion? Sea, a sea lion. And what other animal did I do? Seagull, right? I think I got a seagull. And then I had one more. What else did I get? Oh, yeah, that's it. Crab. Thank you. Crab. And we're just going to make up some data. How many sea lions do you think are out there in the Pacific Ocean? How about 50,000? How many seagulls? There's probably about 2 million. And how many crabs you got? How about 200 million? Now to put the picture in is a little bit trickier. It's not that easy. One of the problems with the uh, program is it doesn't like you to put pictures in tables. The only way that I found, maybe this this version might be different, but in the older version, the only way that you could put a, a picture in a table was to put the picture in as the background of the table, right? Okay, so let me make this a little bigger. Let's stretch this out a little bit. There we go. So we're going to put a picture of a sea lion in this box here. So in order to put the picture in a sea lion in this box here, we're going to go to where it says, uh, uh, um, let me see, where, how did I do that? Um, picture, hold on, let me remember. And we want to choose a sea lion. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. Again, um, I'll do it. So I'm going to put my cursor in this window here. Oh, my, why is my, 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 my footer not here? My footer's not showing up either. I think we got some problems with this PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so uh, to put a picture in for our table, I'm going to use it as a background image. So again, I'm going to click in this box here, okay, and I'm going to put the picture in by using the um, shading option right here. So again, I'm in the table design option here under shading, and under the pull down menu for shading, you'll notice it says picture right here. There's an option for picture. If you choose the picture option there, you can then go to your desktop and choose your picture. I've got one sea lion. I got a seagull. Again, it's under shade, picture, and we got a, a seagull. There he is. And then the last one is a crab. 
And I'm going to put a picture of a crab in. Oh, there it is. Crab. There we go. So, again, you click inside there, go to shading to put your picture in. When I play my presentation, it just goes boom, 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 boom. Kind of boring. Wouldn't it be nice if I had a transition between the slides? So there is an option for transition. Before I choose transitions, I want to apply the, maybe the same transition to all the slides. I'm going to select them all. How do you select multiple things? Well, the shift key on the keyboard. Notice if you look in the thumbnail area over here in the side, you'll see this one's red and these are not red, which means this one is selected and these ones are not. If you want to select all of them, you can hold the shift key down and click on the top one, and you'll notice they're all red now. Once they're all red, I can then go and add a transition to all of them. Again, shift clicking on all of them will select them all. The transition is called transitions right here. Now, the most common, of course, is fade. But you also have pushes, you got wipes, you got splits, you got reveal, you got whatever. And there's a whole bunch of them there if you want. Some of the famous ones are the origami one, right? Or the clock, or the ripple is a good one for oceans. Look at that. Wouldn't that be a good one for oceans? So there, I, did, I put the ripple on for each one. So let's start from the beginning. You get a nice ocean ripple. You get a nice ocean ripple there. You get a nice ocean ripple there. Now this doesn't, those animations don't ripple in, which is good because that would look kind of, you know, but this one is. Again, where did I get that? I selected them all over here again using the shift key to select all of them here. Then I went to transitions. You can choose. There's a whole bunch of them there. Maybe try a couple different ones. If you want a different transition on a slide, you just select it. The transition goes on the slide that's going into it. So if I wanted to change the one that's going from 1 to 2 to be something different, I would select number 2. Then I would go and choose the different one. You'll notice right there, you'll see. So if you want the transition, you put the transition on the slide that you're going to, not the one you're going from. If that makes any sense. Try that. Try some different transitions. I'm Okay, let's move on so you see the idea of the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, let's make one infographic. Uh, remember, we talked a lot about infographics today and how important infographics are. So let's just talk about maybe the, uh, um, the circulation of the ocean cycles, I guess is what I'm thinking. And in scientific things, sometimes they use these charts. So here we go. I'm going to go make a new slide by going under Home. And I'm going to go under new slide. This time, I'm going to go and choose a, um, let's just choose one that's blank. Uh, well, no, we want a title. How about title only for right now? I'm going to choose the one that says title only. And, and this, this one will type an ocean water cycle or some ocean water cycle. Okay, so after I type in my title, again, I did a, just a plain one with a title, the one that says title only. I inserted a new one that said title only. Now I'm going to use and make an infographic, an infographic. So there's common infographics inside here. If you go under insert, you'll see there's a variety of different options here. Uh, you have shapes, you have smart art, and you got chart. A lot of infographics are made with smart art. So again, it's under insert smart art right here. And if you click on there, you'll see there's some different options. We're doing cycle, right? See the one that says cycle in there? Okay, so you can see all the different options here. You see them all in there? See all the different options? Okay. And let's do cycle. 
So let's do a cycle and then let's change it to, um, what do we want? We're, we're thinking of uh, some kind of cycle. Which which one you like here? This one? The second one? You like that one? I like this one. I'm going to do the last one. I'm going to do this last one here. Okay, so it gives you an option that you can put your text in. And so instead of uh, saying text, we're going to say we're doing ocean cycle. What is this uh, ocean cycle doing? And it's going to go from warm water to what? To, to cold water to north oh, north um, water to south south water to what's the last one to uh, no water <laughs> it's all drying up if you don't like the colors that you have chosen here you can change the color here. Right here's a, a way of changing colors. Uh, you can also move things around. You'll notice there's some green arrows here if you want to move one up and down. You want to shrink it down, you can shrink it down as well. You can move things around inside if you want. Oop, that doesn't work very well but there we go and so this is a if you have it selected under smart art design change color right here change color change color pull down menu change color so yeah I like Remember our infographic discussion, things like this are visual, they're easier for people to understand when they see a graph like this. Okay, so try and use these in your presentation. It helps people to understand. And of course, put your transition on there as well. Uh, to insert smart art smart art and I choose cycle mm -hmm. let's continue Okay, so uh, on my last slide, I'm going to put one more slide into this presentation, and we're going to put a video in. To put the video in, it's going to be under, again, new slide. This time, I'm going to do title and content, title and content, and my title is going to be uh, Oceans Video. And to put a video into my presentation, you'll notice in my options here, you'll see the very last one right here has a little video icon right here. Do you see it right here? Insert movie from file. And it's asking me, for that's not going to work because I don't have a video on my computer. No. Okay, so how do I get a video in? Well, it most likely would be better to put it in from YouTube, right? So we're going to put a video in from YouTube. So instead of clicking here on that, you'll notice there is a video option over here. And movie browser. Oh, I guess we can't. And Windows, you can do it directly from. Oh, we don't have, you can't put a video in from YouTube? The Windows version lets me do it. Why would they not let you do it? 
Hold on. I don't know. I'm going to have to learn how to put a video on from YouTube from here. Which one? Oh, you mean download the video from YouTube and then put it in your presentation? Yeah, I've, I would rather link to it, though. That's what I... They're kind of not very good. How come on the Windows version it lets you use YouTube and then this one they don't? Uh, well, let me see. Let me go and find a video. How about that? Whoosh. There's a new continent. Look at that. Well, here we go, the garbage patch. Look at that. How many plastic bags did I throw away, huh? Maybe if I copy the link, will that work, you think? Let's see. Well, I can link to the YouTube video. There's a, that's one thing we could do. How about we try embed? Let me try. Yeah, that's not going to work either. I don't know. I guess we would have to download a video. I don't know. That kind of sucks. It should play right from YouTube. But the Windows version, you just link right to YouTube. Yeah, you can search right on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's not letting me do it here. Kind of sucks. Maybe if I search here, maybe. Hmm. No. Man, that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to look it up. I guess. I don't know. That's kind of lame that you can't do that. In audio, it looks like you have to download the audio or rec record your own audio. Um, what about object?
Well, let's look it up. How about we look it up on the internet? We don't know how to do something. Let's look it up. That's, you know, the beauty of the internet is that we can search on things and learn from the best. It says what? Click the insert tab, then choose video online video. There is no online video option on the Mac. Can you embed a YouTube video in PowerPoint for Mac? If if you in your web browser locate the video you want, copy the URL of the web page from the address bar of your browser, switch to PowerPoint and select the slide where you want to place the video, then insert tab of the ribbon in the media group at the right end. What? On the insert tab of the ribbon in the media group at the right end, select video, then select online video. There is no online video option. Really? Do you, does anybody see that? Video? Do you see online video? Huh? Anybody see the online video option? Locate the video you want, copy the URL, switch to PowerPoint and select the slide where you want to place the video. On the insert tab of the ribbon in the media group at the right end, select online video. I'm under insert. I don't see no. Anybody see one? This is a lie. Anybody know? What version do we, this is PowerPoint 2019 for Mac. What version are we using? Oh, this is 2018. Okay, well, whatever. At least you can insert. If you want a link to a video, uh, here's what I would do is I would go and find the video you want. Copy. So if you find a video you want, let's say this is the video you want. There should be a share option right here. And you can copy the URL right there and then you can put it in and you can just copy and paste it in I, I guess that's the only way so let's look at our video from the begin our PowerPoint from the beginning okay And of course we don't have, can you turn it off? You can't turn it off? Okay, and the other thing we don't have here, of course, is the footer, right? We don't have a footer, so you need to put the footer in. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up, so I'm going to go back to my master. I'm going to go back to my master. Remember, the get to the master is under view, and then we have slide master right here, and then let's go to the very top one up here, the master, 
And I don't know why my... I'm going to go under... So I went back to the master, go back to the very top one, and then I'm going to put in slide number here. And we want date and time, we want slide number, and we want footer. And don't show on title slide. How about that? Here, I'll do it again. So, again, I, my footer is not showing up. So, to get back to the master, you go under view, no, view, slide master, go to the very first one up here, the very top one, then go under insert, insert right here. And then go to where it says slide number right here, slide number right here. And I'm going to say date and time, <coughs> slide number, footer, and let's not show on title slide. How about that? Insert, slide number. Mm -hmm. And then I say apply to all. I don't know. Click on the menu items there. What does it say? And then say insert to all. Okay, let's try from the beginning now. Let's save our file. Let's save it. Let's give it a name. Jeff's Ocean. So save it. Save it. You got to turn it in for credit. You got to turn it in for credit. And then let's play from the beginning. Ooh, there's my banging. Ooh, I like the typewriter. Ocean waves. My infographic. My link to the video. Okay, so, uh, you know, that's all for today. You can um, save your file, and there should be a drop box in there for your assignment. The assignment should say uh, sample PowerPoint. So go and log into Canvas and turn it in to get credit for today. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to stop my video.